Hi everybody, we are at Port Patrick campsite, Castle Bay campsite. This is our setup, that's me, Spike and Michelle. Another lovely day. The castle over there. We're just about to head off for a hike towards the lighthouse, there's maybe a cafe there. Great wee campsite. We've done some Ranger Mobile. I'll tell you about my solar panel setup. I've got everything just about finished. So what I've got is I've got 600 watts of solar up in the roof there. I've got a 400 watt panel and a 200 watt panel on the roof. So that's given me 600 watts of solar when the sun's out. There's Denise who's joined us. She's up at the hotel. And what I've got here is when I'm off grid, I've got this cable here coming out. I've modified this wee hatch here. I used to have a three way fridge in here, but I took the three way fridge out, made a wee cabinet in here. And what that does is I've got two, I've got an EcoFlow Delta 2 Max in the solar generator and the backup battery. And that gives me this wee cable that comes out here and plugs into the electricity hookup when I'm off grid. And that gives me four kilowatts of power. Let's get into the mobile. So what I've got, I'll show you the solar generator. Here's the denser mobile. Look at this end. And I'll you will look back down. This is the cab. Television, Xbox. There we go. Right, in here, this wee cabinet here I went and made. I've got just a normal wee 140 pound fridge here, and it's on at the moment being powered by my solar. Now what I've got in this wee cupboard here is the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max solar power generator and then behind it I've got a backup battery. You can see the cable that comes out here, just up here, which is plugged into the electricity behind there. And then as soon as I have that cable on the outside, runs the 240... A socket, so it does. And at the moment, the solar's working. I'll just have a look here. There, you can have a look, and you can see that it's. I'm using 74 watts of power, but it's putting in 127, and it's climbing all the time as the as the sun guns on, which is great. So I'm putting in more power than I'm talking it. So I'm putting in more power than I'm taking out at the moment, and that's 600 watts on the roof. And I'm only using when the fridge is on. The fridge. which is absolutely fantastic. So basically, the way I can charge this is I've got 600 watts in the roof, which has gone into that solar generator when the sun's out, and that's the pitting power in. And I've also got those the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max solar power generator and the backup battery in there, which is 2 kilowatts of power. But I've also got two leisure batteries under here, 140 watt amp hours, and uh, I've got another two laser batteries under here, so I've got four laser batteries and two lithium uh, phosphate batteries in there. So I've got tons of power. So I've got 600 watts in the roof and, and I've got a 400 watt. This is an Aferi portable 400 watt solar panel system, which I can plug in to the EcoFlow 
Delta 2 Max as well. So that can give me a total of 1000 watts of solar power if I need it. Now the other thing that I've written ordered, which should come on Monday, is the EcoFlow solar generator. And what it does is, the water, it'll connect to my battery, to my main carb battery, and it'll pull the power off the alternator to also charge the batteries. And that'll give me, when I've got the engine running, 800 watts of power. So, every time I turn the key on, I'm charging up the solar generator, which is charging up all the batteries. And so that'll be for the EcoFlow solar, uh, EcoFlow alternator generator. And I've got the ability to charge batteries with the solar, which is great. So, and of course, I've got a campsite and hook up on charging the batteries and that. So that's three ways I can charge my batteries. So it just means basically, if it's nice and sunny and other, I can scan off grid, basically, no, just about indefinitely, but for a long, long time, which is great. We're just getting ready to go hike. But I'll tuck you in the system once it's all fully installed and other, but it's all working. It works great, and uh, it just means I can camp wherever I want, which is good. Right, we're going to get ready to rock and roll, and we'll bring you back later on when we come back. Car park. Port Patrick Harbour. There's the hotel up there, that's where we're meeting up with Dee. Spike will be dropped off down here somewhere. There's my shell. See this bit shut down with Connor's, rest, Connor's restaurant. Somebody else might take it over there. You can smell the sea air, it's lovely. Yeah, it's nice. Your spike. Oh, I see him now. Is it like a homeless person on the bench? Well, actually, it's getting warm now. Aye, Getting warmer, Spike. Aye. Just saying you can smell the sea here. Well, that's only 0 0.81 miles. What's that? 0 0.81 miles. Mystery tours again, she went to Brighton instead of the left. Aye, aye. 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 Aye, I think it is. It looks nice in the place. And that shop I've been seeing you way by, there's a shop just around the corner there, sells lovely ice cream. So it's closed the new but it'll be open shortly. Aye. You get chips and all that in there, never in that. We like to somewhere there. There was a boat trip went out this morning when the tide was in, taking tours, fishing tours and that sort of thing. Just the smell of the sea here. Aye, that's what I was saying, see when you walk, like, obviously we had the caravan at St. Monin's right on the coastal path, I've walked the coastal path, I want to taste sometimes aye. the salt on salt, aye. The water's nice and calm. Definitely recommend Port Patrick to come down and stay. There's a wee shop in there, that, it's like a wee Aladdin's cave, it's got great stuff in it, so it is. Oh, oh aye, cool. aye. A smuggler's cove it's called. It's got wee quirky things, you can see the big monkey there, the orangutan in the front bit. Wee statues now, but it's got everything, it's got lovely stuff. Port Patrick. This area gets busy here, everybody sitting outside. There's not a breath of wind in here at the moment, it's lovely and it's getting warmer. Oh, 
Well, we're getting the barbecue open tonight and a wee bottle of wine. Fair tough to the solar panel system, solar off grid system I've got in my motor home. It seems to be working very well. And water's a bit of mud in the bottom, but it's quite clear. Be good for snorkeling. The waterfront and the crown, these seem to be the two busiest bits. The hotel's okay. I've been in it before. I think new owners have taken it over. There's also another car park at the far end here. The car parks down here, of course, it says no sleeping overnight. You're not allowed to stay in the car parks overnight. There's plenty of campsites here. We're staying in Castle Bay campsite, and there's one right next door here. There's a picture there of Port Patrick. No, you're not right. I'll get it for you here. I'll just, I'll, I'll just get everybody in. <laughs> That'll do. Everybody for there. Because it's on a wide angle. So. <laughs> okay, everybody. Right. Right. That should be.